we're going to sing that song, I Need You. Because we do. Lord, I needed what you did at Calvary, but I need it today too. Because I let the dirt of this world get upon me. Wash us today. Wash us today, Lord. I ask you to take the elements as they pass out the cup and the bread. And if you'll just hold it, we'll partake together. A little different than some, but that's okay. But we'll partake together. Would you stand as we sing the song? And then Stacy will seat you after we're, we've sung. But I want us to, I want us to come to the Lord. I want you to create right where you're at an altar. I don't care what you're doing in the sanctuary, but whether you're up here or whether you're back there or whether you're out in the foyer, create an altar. Just you and God saying, Lord, today I'm coming to honor you. Not just to remember, but to honor you because you're worthy. Stacy. Lord, I come to you. I confess how weak I am. song to Amen. rise to you. Yes, yes. When temptation comes my way, and 
When I cannot stand, I'll fall on you. <laughs> Jesus, you're my home. Can I share you with you something that God just dropped into my heart afresh, just out of nowhere? How many remember Job? Job had a hard road. The Bible says that Job was a righteous man. And Satan wanted to destroy him. Satan wants to destroy you too. And you, some of you have heard me say this because the reality of this is everything was taken from him except his wife. I don't know why God spared her. Because she was the most negative woman I'd ever heard. Just a thought, free. But he did. Because God knew better. God knew that he was going to multiply back to him what was taken. Bible even says in chapter 19, verse 10, that Job said to Bildad, the Lord has taken my hope. And when I first read that, thank you, sir. You can just set my cup over there. When I first read that, I thought, but God wants to build our hope. You know what had happened? God was taking all of Job's earthly hopes away. That's what he was doing. What have you put your hope in on this earth? Don't. Don't put your hope on things on this earth. Our hope is in him alone. David said it time and time again. And here's what God was trying to produce in Job. A hope that was in him alone. And here's what happens. Job goes from, goes from being a righteous man, and at the end, you read that he was not just righteous. He was pure and holy. That's huge. That's huge. It's one thing to be a righteous man. But you know what I want to be? Pure and holy. I want to stand before him pure and holy. Can I do that in my strength? No, not on your moment's life. 
I can't get there. But on his purity and his holiness, I can. That's the promise that happens at this table. His righteousness becomes my righteousness. His robe becomes my robe. And his blood flows through my veins as he does yours. How can I not submit to such an awesome God? How can I withhold? How can I act like I'm not sick when I'm spiritually struggling? I pray today that as we partake, that it becomes a rock-solid thing inside of you that you never let anything distract you from what he did on that cross, ever. And that that same love and blood and body broken still flows today, works today. Isn't God good? He took the bread and held it up and blessed it. Would you hold your bread up? As the priest of your life and your family, would you bless this bread? Father, we come humbly before you and thank you for sending Jesus, your son, for us. Thank you for opening a door that we couldn't get through any other way but through your perfect lamb, the son of God. And the stripes borne up on your back, Lord, the pain you suffered because of my sin brings healing to every part of my being. And those areas, Lord, that I fall short in, you and I have talked about them more than once. Lord, I ask you to develop the character of Christ in me more and more and more and more until the world will taste and see that you are good. And Lord, let me be one of those at the end where you come and you say, will I find anyone of faith? Let me be one. Please, God, let me be one. And I praise you for it. Let us partake of the bread. Beloved, this is healing. This is healing to your soul. It's healing to your spirit. It's healing to your mind. It's healing to your flesh. In like matter, he took the cup. Would you stand with me? Would you raise your cup to the heavens? I'm almost tempted to tell us to pour it over us again. I won't do that. But spiritually, I want him to. I want him to pour that beautiful blood that fell from Calvary all over me fresh. Father, today, the blood that was poured out on Calvary still washes and cleanses us from all sin. We thank you that we have an advocate with the Father through Jesus Christ, our Lord, that he speaks in our favor every day and Lord we are yours may this blood 
that flowed across our veins and through our being and washed us whiter than snow as your word is declared. May the world see true Christians in us. May they experience the love of God in us. May they see people who have discipline in us. And may they see people compassionate and people of faith and people of kindness and goodness who bring peace and love. May they see it in us. Lord, we're going to be tested this week. We're going to be tempted. Every one of us. May the beauty of the Lord shine through. And we remember this today as a memory, but as a constant reminder of whose we are. And we submit to you today in the name of Jesus. Let us partake. Mm. Lord, you are good. Jesus, you are wonderful. Beyond word. Beyond word. Wow. Don't you just sense his presence? I do. Y'all are beautiful. You know that? Turn to your neighbor and say, you know, you're beautiful. I love you. May the beauty of God that's in you right now be the radiant glory of Christ to this world. Did you hear me? May the beauty of God in us right now be the glory of God to this world when we live. Holy, holy, holy. Let's finish up with that. Holy, 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 holy Lord God. God bless you as you go. If you see somebody you don't know, stop and introduce yourself. Today is, a, a, is name free day. If you forget who you have met before, everybody gets to reintroduce themselves. God bless you. See you tonight.